Hi everyone, welcome back to All About Aquaculture, Tusil Aquaculture Profit Africa. Today we are visiting the second site of Aqua Pet Venture with Dr. Fish. So I tell people, it's not only catfish or tilapia that we can produce in Africa. We can produce other species of fish. Unfortunately, Africa seems to be the largest consumer or importer of frozen fish in the world. When other countries are developing their own species or their own local consumption to reduce their dependence on foreign currency, Africa keeps importing, importing, importing frozen fish. We have the land mass, we have the water resources. We can decide to develop Africa if we have the passion. And this is Pangasius. Pangasius hypothalamus juveniles. In Nigeria. In Nigeria. The first farm to breed it in the whole of Africa. How, how many staff do you have here? Here alone, I have five staff. <laughs> Koi calves. These are Japanese koi calves. They are valuable fish, precious fish. How much can you sell one fish like that? This one can go for 4,000 naira. So about uh, uh, three US dollars. Oh. Uh, 4,000 naira. Yes, that's about uh, eight US dollars. Eight US dollars. Sorry. Exactly. These are yellow koi. We call them uh, Ogon, Ogon, yellow coil. And how long does it take to produce this fish? Uh, this size takes about uh, four months. Four months? Yes, to grow this size, you know, four months. Okay. Yes. And eight dollars is per fish? Per fish, yes. These are gold fish. Mm. These are gold fish. These are gourmets. We have yellow gourmets, white gourmets, blue gourmets, lavender, different types. Mention the fish. We produce it here in our puppet ventures. I told you earlier, you can see a sample of what I told you. We use these tanks to breed. Like the weather is okay now. We want to spawn fish down, we use the outdoor tank. And at the same time, we use them as holding tanks. Anytime we have it, we keep them here to position them. You understand? For selling out to prospective customers. From where does the water come? The wa this land is a marshy land. It's a swamp land. So the water oozes out from underground. Okay. You understand? Yes. So uh, we also have bowl, a reliable water. So we have bowl, we have wells, and we have this uh, stream that runs throughout the year. You can see how clean it is. So it's a triple blessing on the farm. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you can see here. In this pond, we have uh, uh, mollies, guppies. We have mollies, we have guppies, 
We have radiator turtle. We have uh, some uh, pleco. You can see turtles, those turtles. The, the, they are ornaments for interior and exterior decoration. They are going down. You can see those movies, uh, those guppies. Here we have black molly, we have a gold molly, we have a koi molly, we have a white molly, we have marble molly, and we have different types of guppies with their tails and fins. So we also have pleco here, but we don't come up. You see them only at the bottom. Once in a while they come up, that's for here, they go down again. And uh, we have some um, parents of some coins here, valuable coins. Valuable coins. What do we mean by valuable when coins? I, when I say valuable, the, the colors, distribution, and pattern, they are so unique that when we breed the babies, we pick them out separately so that we can use them to breed so that they produce future generations of uh, fine patterns. For the market because uh, what moves in the koi market is the pattern distribution on the body of the fish so when anytime you produce baby and you see some color pattern distribution that are unique you select them for future parent stocks you understand me yes so yes. that's how i've been developing my parent stocks over the years but tell me dr fish with all this experience yes. i'm amazed and I, I will be happy to know from where you learn all this is passion <laughs> passion self-help self-development that's all so you are a pure product of nigeria sure 100 percent. 100 percent. nice <laughs> <laughs>
I see a lot of bottles of uh, gas there. Yes. What are they for? When the temperature drops, mm -hmm. you put on the gas to increase the temperature. Okay, so it's for heating. It's for heating. I see thermometers everywhere. Once we attain a required temperature, you see the mm -hmm. switch of the gas. And when the temperature goes down a bit, you switch it on. You understand? Yes. That's a series of thermometers to measure temperature. So, here you mainly produce live feed. Live feed. I will produce live feed too. Okay. Yes. We just put in their egg here, the eggs and the hatch. Okay. Yes. Nice, nice. These are McDonald's that change jar. Imported directly from the US. Okay. And actually, it's mainly for uh, which species? For almost all species of fish. Even okay. catfish, you can actually do it. Okay. Virtually all species of fish. It makes your work easier. You understand? Yes. What I like is that you use, uh, you combine what is it? imported material with also local material. We also use local. We That's really provide, good. Where we cannot get imported ones, we provide locally. That's nice. And we've been getting results. Really. Mm -hmm. And this is getting very famous, this type of tanks. Yes. Across the we, African continent. Yes, we call it tapulin tanks. Uh, sorry? Tapulin tanks. Tapulin. Do you like them? Do they yeah. work well? They work well. Okay. Do uh, after some years, they start giving problems like leakage or and the likes. So all you do is just repair it, then we use it. You have had the chance to see what Dr. Fish does in this second site. So in addition to uh, keeping the bull stock, he also has uh, archery, a very uh, nice archery that can produce a total quantity per year of about 10 to 15 million. 10 to 15 million fingerlings of many species, including food species and ornamental. So you have seen also how he maintains uh, live feed, like Artemia. Now you believe that this happens in Africa. We are here in Nigeria. You have seen Pangasius, you have seen koi fish, you have seen many species. I repeat it, six full fish species and more than 20 ornamental fish species only with Dr. Fish here in Ibadan, Nigeria. So thank you very much for watching this. As usual, I will invite you to like the videos, invite other people to subscribe to All About Aquaculture to see the Aquaculture Profit Africa. Merci et à la prochaine.